So you're having trouble with your Echo device? I'm going to show you how to fix it coming up next. Hi, I'm Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. I have these steps to building the ultimate smart home right on my shirt. And as you can see, getting an Alexa enabled device is step number one. Now this is the pretty much the cheapest um, Echo device that has Alexa on it. And this would be my recommendation for that first step, an Echo Dot. Now in this video, we're gonna show you how to fix any software issues that you are having with your Echo Dot. And all we're gonna do is do a factory reset. Now before you do a factory reset, one thing you can try is just unplug the power wait about 10 seconds and plug it back in and see if that fixes your problem. If it does not fix your problem, follow the reset instructions coming up next. Okay, so to reset your device, what you need to do is hold down the action button. And that is the button with the little dot on top. You need to hold that down for 25 seconds. Now in setup mode, follow the instructions in your Alexa app. Resetting your device. This will take about a minute. I'll let you know when it's done. All right, so first it entered setup mode, then it said it's resetting your device. So you got to hold it down until it gets to the resetting the device prompt. Okay, and it looks like it is starting back up from the beginning. And then once it starts up, it should be in setup mode, completely restarted um, and reset to factory defaults. And at that point, if you're gonna be selling this device or giving it to a family member, you would just want to unplug it and put it in the box. That way when they get it, um, all they need to do is plug it in and it will start in the setup mode and they won't have any of your account information or any of your information on the device when they get it. And it's starting up. Hello. Your device is ready for setup. Just follow the instructions in your Alexa app. All right, so now we just need to go to our Alexa app. Um, I'm on the device page, um, which is the option on the bottom right corner. And what we need to do is just go um, to add a device. Before I do that, let me go into our existing devices. And this one was called Master Bathroom. So you can see that Master Bath is not on the list. So we're going to go back. And in the upper right hand corner, we're going to hit the plus sign. And we're going to choose Add Device. And we're going to choose an Amazon Echo device. And we're going to choose the Echo Dot because we have the Echo Dot third generation here. So we're going to choose on the picture that is our device. And um, it's asking if we see the orange ring. Click yes. Okay, now you just want to select your device from the list. It's scanning our Wi Fi network. Just choose a network. Now Your device is ready. Now it's ready. Uh, it says that it's now connected to Wi-Fi. Tap continue to begin customizing your experience. We're going to hit continue. And it's asking where we want to put this. Um, so we're going to put this, let's put it in a group and master bedroom is fine. Click continue. Mine appears to be stuck on this page. So I'm just going to go ahead and end that app. And we'll go ahead and get back into the app. And let's see if our master bath has been added. So we're going to go over to our device tab. And we're going to click on Echo and Alexa. And we're going to try and find master bath. So here it is. Mm -hmm. And you can see that it's all set up and ready to go. 
And that is how you reset your Echo device. This is a third generation Echo Dot. I'm going to leave the um, instructions to all other Echo devices and how to reset them in the description below. And I'm also going to give you the phone number to Amazon Echo support. So if you are having any issues beyond this reset, um, contact them and see if they can fix the problem. If a reset does not help, it's probably not a software issue, it may be a hardware issue. The only way to fix a hardware issue is to replace the hardware. And if you do call them within one year, all Echo devices have a one year warranty and they are going to send you a full replacement at no charge. Also, if you go beyond the one year, you can um, take your Echo device that's not working, trade it in, get some money, get a 25% discount to um, purchase another Echo device. And if you contact the 1-800 number after your warranty has expired, they're going to give you an additional 15% discount on any Echo device for having the issue with the device in the first place. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.